Deck Check! Welcome back to Deck Check, the first and only unscripted, unsupervised, unhinged 10 minute testing ripoff. Today we're running back the joke of just playing lists that top YCS Los Angeles by playing the first ever pure punk list to top a YCS. Did you guys know that? I know these things for reasons that don't concern you. This list, of course, is uh, very much focused around using Extreme Session to draw into a bunch of hand traps and then having some pretty modest forms of interruption in the form of usually just Amazing Dragon and then maybe like a rank 8 or uh, if you draw an Offender, you can make, like, Baron to Flur. Other than that, though, we're mostly just trying to draw a bunch of cards and outgrind our opponent. And we have, like, a whole shit ton of hand traps to facilitate that. Oh, we got a bite. We'll come back to looking up how much pep costs. Alright, we won. We actually really won because we drew Fenrir. Um, punk hands look like this very often, where it's just a bunch, just a bunch of, um, a bunch of random bullshit. Cards that do not necessarily look like they combo. But this probably does something. We're going to add, uh, Ziamen to hand. And then this is the weird part, is I'm not sure what exactly to search if we already have Foxy Tune. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add Madame Spider, so that when we use the uh, Dragon Drive later in the turn, we can search Ghost Ogre instead. Now we're going to special summon one non-level 8 punk from the deck. We don't need this uh, evenly matched, so we're going to summon Sharakusi. Down comes the carp. Carp effect is going to get us wagon. And then that's going to get us extreme session. It's gonna be doing all sorts of sorts of shit for us. Now we go dragon drive. Dragon Drive, pay six, suck dicks. Ziamen, bring back the Sharakusai. And we're gonna add Ghost Ogre. And Extreme Session is gonna get us card off the top. Called by. Not amazing, but we'll take it. Now we're going to banish the Wagon, because that's not going to do anything for us anymore. And we're going to summon Madame Spider. And that's going to get us the Gabu. Hey, Gabu, Gabu. Hey, Gabu. And we're going to get another draw. Roll, that's a good one. Now, because we, of course, drew the Fenrir, we're able to make a level 10 Synchro. Very nice. Then set two. And we're going to be able to go... When are we getting the, the minus 600 suck dicks redemption? Uh, probably never. I don't think we're going to do that. Also, I'm realizing now I probably should have left Wagon in the graveyard, but I don't think it's going to be a huge difference uh, between three and four bounces. I don't think that's going to matter too much. And we do have two hand traps and two set cards. They're going for trade-in. Oh god, we're bullying. We're just bullying. Fuck. Man, I hate bullying. Man, now I have to droll them. I feel like a bully. I feel like a dick now. Man, now I feel like a huge dick. You know what I feel like? A dick. Summon Thrasher. Sure, fuck, whatever. I don't know.
watch him just go to battle phase. Like, what else do you really even do? Alright, there's some in the Brave. That's, like, fine. And they're gonna use Brave. What does this do exactly? Gains attack and defense equal to it. Alright. They've got two level fours, but it's not like they can use Galaxy... Galaxy Photon Dragon. <coughs> Jeez. And they have summoned the third monster. Folks, uh... Is this once per turn? Okay, neither of these are once per turn to summon, so it's actually a very stupid idea to use Amazing Dragon right now. Alright, but we can use it now. This reborns it, right? Yeah. So let's fire that off now. And this is going to not only summon our amazing dragon. Oh, we're under droll. That's why champ session isn't triggering. That's annoying, but whatever. Man, in that case, droll is kind of a nombo in this deck. They're gonna make Star Leech Photon Blast Dragon. Um, I guess we just negate that. Does this protect? I remember it protects them from targeting, I think. Monsters with 2,000 or more. So you, we can still destroy you because you're only at 18. Okay. And they've seen enough. Uh, folks, that's the punk difference. Awesome. Shit. All right, we're screwed, we're boned. And we didn't draw any of our 400,000 hand traps. That's cool. We got Neatelli going. There's Gamma. We got blue, show me blue. There's blue. Blue add jet, jet add starter. Rat and carrot. Probably got, probably got the jet already. There's the jet. Who's next? Who's next? Is it starter? Is it double cross? Bitches love blue. It's true. Look at the drip. Our right, riding smashers. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Sprint. Bitches love sprint. I'm sprinting. What we got? Angler? We're angle shooting. We're angling. It's me. I'm I'm the angler. I'm gonna angle you. Oh, it's me. It's me, the beaver. I'm gonna beave you. Is this doing it for you guys? Are these good bits? Now we got more beavers than we know what to do with. Very likely a gigantic play next. But at the same time, what exactly are we doing with gigantic? It feels like we kind of have everything. Yeah, that makes more sense to just go right into forest. Get Caddy. Who's next? Who's next? Come on. Come on, one more. Show me the starter. I know you got the starter in here. Interestingly, we're not locked to twos yet, so we could do like anything here. 
we did all of this like while preserved, like while just keeping ourselves completely unlocked. And now we're going to Jenkins. We were doing so well. I'm surprised we used the, the what's it called, the Sprint. Is it common for Sprite to have this many engines nowadays? Angler is pretty much standard because it's the only really good send off of Sprint. So that's pretty much a mandatory engine. Um, other than that, you only really need like maybe one or one or two others. So the Melfi engine is one in contention for one of the better sprite engines. It just gives you a lot of value with like the the Herald and the the Forest negate sometimes. Um, and then the other one, like obviously Swap Frog, is still a pretty big engine that people use. Uh, you can still make Toad through a variety of different methods. There's the Bujinki, there's Reaper Docus. Um, other thing Swap Frog can do is it can mill Testudo, Erot, Newman, and then you can use Double Cross to summon Newman back to your field, and then your opponent is floodgated. All right, we got, we got something. What are we most afraid of here? What are we really, what are we really, really genuinely upset about on this board? Second question, if they just negate this, what do we even do? Do we just cry? All right, let's start by attempting to deal with the caddy. Yeah, see, I figured like no matter what we went for, they would just care it anyway, so that just trades. They're going for starter. I guess they're just going for like blue. They're just getting like something to tribute for red here. Getting jet, all right. Yeah, that's interesting because now they're locked into two so they can't use penny. Yeah, so literally they just Literally all they have left is the red. And it's insane because I think that might be enough. Wait, so here's an idea though. Because what we could do is we could go reveal Deer Note and Foxy Tune. If they negate it, we don't care. Summon Deer Note. Caddy triggers here. Get Beaver because we can't use Penny. Go Battle Phase. Get over the red. Main phase two, and I suppose they could go into a link two off of Mascarena, but I don't know of one that would matter. So yeah, I guess <laughs> I guess now we're just kind of free to do as we please. I'm gonna summon Ziamen. Yeah, I guess Sharakusai. Normal summon Sharakusai. Go for a big fusion summon. Ziamen gives something a couple attack points, because I don't know, I sometimes just click yes. Oh, 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 
summon Wagon and the Dom Spider. We have a second extreme session, right? Yeah, let's go. Grab extreme session. What I don't think we have is a second punk trap, so Madame Spider is kind of just chilling. Yeah. That hand we drew was a little bit unfortunate, but I think we played through it pretty much as best we could. We only get one draw here, but that's all right. Now we're going to go Deer Note. Summon back. I think we really want to summon. Um, oh yeah, we need Shark Goose Eye. And we're going to add Ghost Ogre. Going to draw a card. That's a pretty good draw. Um, I guess we just use it here because otherwise we... Yeah, we're, we're using it here just to get one bad draw out of the deck. Quote unquote bad draw because that's what we would love it. What I could do is I could go for Wagon plus Dragon Drive into... No, see that doesn't really make any sense because we don't have a way to summon back the Dragon Drive, so I want to just use it... I want to just use the, the Dragon Drive as in the, um, the Amazing Dragon as Interruption. Beaver and Caddy in hand. They have red in hand. We might be a little screwed. Nightmare Unicorn. That sucks. Alright, so now we can get benefit out of this Wagon. Because this is this is the secret effect of Wagon. When one of your punks is targeted by a card effect or an attack. You get to draw a card. And now we'll use Sharakusai. And make Amazing Dragon. Now we'll go get out of here. Draw a card. Unfortunately, since those were in the same chain, can't use it. Can't use both of them. The Summon Angler. If they try to go to gig over Gigantic, Ghost Ogre clears that. Our other draws were a little little unfortunate. Evenly does not help here. Ah. Let's see what they got cooking. We know one of the cards in hand is Caddy. A lot of this is going to rest on what the remaining card is. Ninja Shadow Mosquito. Hmm. So they can negate Amazing Dragon?
Oh, now they're just going for, for Zeus. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm fine with that because Ghost Ogre does kind of make quick work of Zeus. I don't like having to lose all this shit, but it's not that big of a deal. We should reasonably be able to, if not end the game, then at least... then at least sort of get into a winning position from here, I think. Going to end phase, summoning the caddy. Mm. The penny does kind of complicate things. But the Ash Blossom clears the penny. Go ahead, use your caddy, see if I care. Get fucked, idiot. We're gonna go Ziaman. Grab Foxy Tune. Do you even have a target anymore? You do. You have the last um, Ziaman, I think. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this evenly. Summon Deer now. We do have a different level 8, but I don't know if that matters. Um, yeah, I think we just go for Dragon Drive, get the last um, Xeomen out of deck, Deer Note. Summon back. We could summon back Amazing Dragon. I don't think that's gonna matter. We got a lot of options. I'm just trying to determine if any of them are really better than another one. We could go for Sharakusai and threaten, like, um... Amazing Dragon on their turn again. I'm deciding if that's better than just going for Pep. Hold on, I gotta calculate. We're 2,900 down from them. I gotta get out a fucking calculator, Jesus Christ. How much attack does Pep have? Please don't report me for slow play. I'm oops. Psychic and fucker. He's got 35. All right, we're doing the calculations. We're doing the calculations. 6,700 minus, um, shithead, what's his name? Me, 38, it's 29, plus 3,500 is 64. So even if we could clear the caddy, which I don't actually think we have a way to do, um, we can't kill anyway. So Sharakusai is probably the better one. And while we're at it, let's give him the attack points. What do you say, chat? Yeah, add the Ziam in the hand. Go battle. Get over the caddy. 33 to the dome. And attempt to have a decent turn. Alright, so they got a couple of things that could get them out of this. Prosp is a strong start. They don't got a lot of extra deck options left, so... Did they go for three or six? They went for three. Yeah. Let's see what they get off the top. That was Jet, Starter, and Droll. Those are a couple of good ones. Starter in particular is quite good here.
get blue. Blue add jet. Jet add. I doubt they're gonna have a second Smashers, so probably just going for another starter. It's that last card in hand that's once again just tripping me up. It couldn't be anything like really playable, right? Or else they would have used it in an earlier turn. Or maybe it was their top deck and they just had Prosp that, did, that they didn't want to use until now. Really depends. Not sure at all. They haven't used Blue's summon condition yet, so... Even if I bounce both of these now, they can go normal jet special to blue and be right back where we started. So I gotta wait for them to make some sort of move here. Go for an Xyz this thing. I mean, yeah, I guess I got a... guess I got a Sharakusai in response to that. Pay six. Suck dicks. Summon Amazing Dragon, Amazing Dragon, get rid of it. Now they got starter in hand and something else, some sort of speller trap. All right, now we're gonna use Amazing Dragon to bring back let's bring back Deer Note. Summon Z, I mean, no targets. Wait, we got one more target? Oh shit, what is it? Is it like a, like another Foxy tune? No, we have another Ogre Dance. That's what we're missing. And this triggers whenever it's sent to the graveyard, so... Right. Guess what we can do is we can go Ogre Dance, Tribute over Deer Note. They're thinking if they want to activate starter. There's not really a good time to. Deer Note can bring back... What about the second Dragon Drive? What do you think? Uh, or the Amazing Dragon. That's, God, there's too many dragons! Now let's just go for... Foxy Tune? Hi, Dimax. This is an Undertale. Yeah, we finished the we finished Waterfall, and I said, guys, guys, this is a perfect opportunity to do a single deck check where we don't play against Blackwing. <laughs> or we could play against Pep. Or we could uh, summon Pep, fuck. <laughs> I'm all over the place right now. Alright, we go ding. See, they fire the starter, but it doesn't matter because we can just attack over whatever they summon. Send the other back row. What was it? It was Double Cross. Double Cross been dead ever since we uh, cleared their board of all their links and Xyz monsters. And yeah, that just clears. Go battle. Ding. And Amazing Dragon in. Folks, when you're good, you're good. What can I say? What an incredible game. That was actually really fun. Well, what can I say, folks? That dragon really was so amazing. Uh, this is just a really cool deck that can really outgrind uh, a lot of other decks in the meta right now. 
there is still the chance to brick on all of the non-engine you're playing, but if you do draw into the right combination of engine and non-engine cards, you can really hit that stride where you, you are just able to one-for-one uh, one with everything your opponent is doing until you come out clean on the other side. I really enjoyed my time with this deck, and I might play it a little bit in my spare time if I have the chance to, but I always say that about all of these deck checks, and then five minutes after I hit upload, I forget that the deck exists. See you guys next time.